Hello, I'm Rachel Walker. I'm the project manager at Don Catchment Rivers Trust. We're a charitable trust, part of the Rivers Trust movement, and we work across South Yorkshire and North East Derbyshire, and our aim is to protect and restore the rivers in our catchment. I don't think 2020 is going to go down as a great year in history, but we've managed to get all the project work done we wanted to this year. So here's our roundup of 2020 for World Fish Migration Day. Historically, the Don was a salmon river. Atlantic salmon would spend time at sea feeding around Iceland and then make their way into the catchment to spawn. The migration stopped about 200 years ago for a number of reasons. The rivers were amongst the most polluted in Europe and the dozens and dozens of weirs that were built over hundreds of years to feed water to the mills and factories were too much of an obstacle for migrating fish to get back to their spawning grounds. Water quality still has a way to go, but there's no doubt in that compared to the dead, barren river we had 50 years ago, the situation has improved drastically. So, the main thing stopping the fish migrating now are the weirs. Lots of organisations have been working on improving fish passage in the catchment over the years. And this year marks 20 years since the first fish pass was installed in Doncaster in the year 2000. So it's fitting that at the beginning of this year we built a major fish pass at Masborough Weir in Rotherham. This is the 16th fish pass in 20 years and was important because it was the last obstacle for fish trying to get to their first spawning habitat in the catchment in Sheffield. To get this project done, we put together a funding and delivery partnership consisting of ourselves, Canal and River Trust, the Environment Agency, Rotherham Council, Yorkshire Water, with extra funding from charitable trusts, the Garfield Western Foundation and the Liz and Terry Bromwell Foundation. We started the project in January. We got held back five weeks because of local flooding, but pulled those five weeks back to finish on time during the height of the lockdown restrictions in June. Don Catchment Rivers Trust have built several fish passes over the years but they do need to be maintained to function properly. Some of the weirs in our catchment that we build passes on aren't in any known ownership, so they don't get maintained necessarily, which can cause problems. This year, there was a small collapse at Brightside Weir that was blocking the attraction flow to the fish pass there. So we spent time and money clearing that away to make sure that the migration could happen. Don Catchment Rivers Trust have built lots of passes, but we've never had an opportunity to do a weir removal before. And now all the investment has happened in the Don, we can start working along the tributaries, which offer more opportunity for removal of the weirs. So this year, we did our first weir removal, dismantling the weir at Slitting Mill on the River Rother. There we go, not too bad all things considered. And the signs are really good that all that work is starting to pay off because we've had several sightings of salmon in the middle of Sheffield. What we need to do now is keep getting rid of those barriers, keep improving the habitat and allowing the river to thrive again.